was different technology. That said, the technology used in producing spacesuits for the great astronauts of the Apollo era was still ahead of its time. Not only that, there were different spacesuits for different uses. Apollo astronauts had three suits that were made specifically for them. It was the suit, their main suit they would use, a training suit that they would train in, and a backup suit. Space suits for the Apollo program had to do things like protect the astronauts as they were walking on the moon. And then came the Skylab era in which suits were only used for spacewalks. On the moon, astronauts wore boots, but um, astronauts on the space station or during the shuttle era didn't have to walk on any surface. They were just floating in space. And so usually their boots actually are a little, have more hardware on them because they have to click into the robot arm. Now that we've given you a bit of the history of the Apollo spacesuit, I have to know what I'm wearing because I don't have a clue. So I've got to turn to my friend. You've got to tell me, what is this I'm wearing? You are wearing an in-flight coverall suit. Astronauts use it inside the space station or inside a spacecraft to uh, when they're just uh, hanging around and doing their work. And because of the zero gravity in space, the pocket space ensured the astronauts held all the pins, etc. Today's technology? This is the best uh, that NASA is testing uh, right now on the International Space Station and on the Orion missions that are coming up to protect astronauts against that radiation. What's neat about it is, unlike a full suit, right, that would protect them against radiation, this allows mobility. Carmina adds that vest would be worn if there was a solar flare or storm and worn under the suit, but again, having mobility is the key with today's spacesuit.